In this video, I would like to discuss preparing for NSSAD. There are a few things that will need to be in place, or the NSSAD installation will likely fail. First of all is time synchronization. The OAS server should have the same time as the AD domain controller, and if possible, use the same time source. I'm not going to go into the details of time configuration. Next is DNS. If you have your OES server and your AD domain controller configured for the same DNS server, things should go really well. If you have your OES server and your AD domain controller configured for different DNS servers, then you will need some additional configuration. The OES server needs to do DNS lookups to the AD domain. So, if you add forwarding from the OES DNS server over to the AD DNS server, then those requests can be fulfilled. Let's go ahead and take a look at my server. So here I am on my OES 2015 server. First of all, we'll want to make sure we have an A record and a pointer record for our OES server in our AD domain. So first we'll do a NS lookup for arsenic in our AD domain. We get back his IP address. Next we'll do an NS lookup for the IP address and we get back the name. Now we will do the same thing for the AD controller. Okay, NS lookup for boron and we get back his IP address. And we do an NS lookup for his IP address and get back the name. And lastly, we'll do an NS lookup for the LDAP entry in the AD domain. And here we have the NS lookup of type SRV with the entry in the AD domain. And it should come back with something like that. And this is the DNS configuration that you will want in your environment prior to doing the NSS AD installation. And the last thing is writes to the AD container where the OES computer object will be created. The AD user that you use will need these writes. Reset password, create computer object, delete computer object, and read write for this attribute. If you experience problems with a limited user, you may want to consider using an AD user that has full access to the AD domain. So these are the prerequisites for your NSS AD installation, and hopefully you will have success if you get this configured prior to running the install. Thank you.